in the example number 3 whatever 10000 earned in that nothing is given to shareholder i will not give you 1 rupee to the shareholder whatever profit i earned i'll keep it as savings whatever earning per share you calculated 10 rupee we have converted to percentage what is the walters model you should not give even 1 rupee also everything has to be reinvested This is your other sir here, lecturing with the Ashram First Grade College, the Temple of Excellence. And now we are in the session one of your topic called Financial Management. Under Financial Management, we are discussing Dividend Decision. Now, what is Dividend Decision and what are the calculations we are supposed to do? Now, each and everything we will discuss in today's session. I'll go for the next slide. Your agenda is concept along with problem. Today we will understand concept. Once you are done with concept, we will work out one problem on that. The meaning of dividend decision. Before we go to definition, I will give you in general this thing. Now, in general, what is dividend decision? Now, for example, the company has earned profit of 10,000. What that, what company has to do with the 10,000? One, they can keep it with themselves or else the 10,000 has to be distributed as dividend to the shareholder. Now, out of 10,000, just assume that out of 10,000, 8,000 given to shareholder. Out of 10,000, 8,000 given to shareholder. So this 8,000 is called as dividend distribution. Now, out of 10,000 profit, they have given 8,000 to the shareholder and balance 2,000 they kept for further investment or some other reserve. Or else we can call it as retained earning. Hope you are clear. Out of 10,000, 8,000 given as dividend and balance 2,000 kept it as the retained earning. Now, these kind of, one more example I will give you. They got 10,000, complete 10,000 given for shareholder. Your retained earning is zero. Example number three. They got 10,000, complete 10,000 they have saved, they have given dividend of zero, so complete 10,000 retained earning. See, example one, they have given almost 80%, 8,000. Example number two, they have given almost 100% to the shareholder, whatever profit company earned, it has given to shareholder. Now, in the example number three, whatever 10,000 earned, in that nothing is given to shareholder, everything is kept as savings. Hope you are clear. Yes, all these three are called as, it is company's decision that they can give dividend or else they can keep it as a savings. Now, all this we call it as dividend decision. Hope you are clear. What is dividend decision? Whether they should give full, whether they should give part of the amount or whether they retained as earning. All these decisions we call it as dividend decision. Hope you are clear. Yes. Now, the dividend decision is a concerned with the quantum of profit to be distributed among the shareholder. A decision has to be taken whether all the profit are to be distributed to retain all the profit in business or to keep a part of profit in the business. See, all three examples I have given. Keep it as a profit, distribute or keep half and remaining distribute. All this we call it as dividend decision. We'll go for first one. Under dividend decision, the major two things are Walters model and Gardens model. Now, we'll go for first one, Walters model. Under dividend decision also, we have concept called Walters model. Before I go to answer, I'll explain you what is the concept of Walters model. Under Walters model, the concept is Whatever profit earned, everything keep it as retained earning. 
dividend is given zero. I will not give you one rupee to the shareholder. Whatever profit I earn, I will keep it as savings. Now, the company will not give even one rupee also. They always go with IRR, internal rate of return. If your internal rate of return is more, then what company does? They will keep all the profit for future investment. They will not distribute to any shareholder. If your internal rate of return is lesser than your cost, then what it does? It will give your earnings. Now, in this what happens? Then the company will give dividend. In this what happens? Very simple. Lesser than IRR means it is nothing but your declining company. Your income is more than your cost means it is growing company. Hope you are clear. Yes. Now, I'll go for this. The following information of XYZ. Capital is how much? 20 lakh. Earning of the company is rupees 2 lakh. What is the capital invested? 20 lakh. What is the income earned? Almost 10% they have earned 2 lakh. Dividend paid is 1 lakh 60. See, out of 2 lakh, 1 lakh 60,000 given as dividend. Only 40,000 is left. Now, Earning ratio is 12.5%. What is the earning ratio? 12.5%. Number of price earning ratio is 12.5. Number of shares outstanding is 20,000 shares. You are required to find out whether the company's dividend paid out ratio is optimal using Walter's model. As per Walter's model, what? We should not give even one rupee also. Keep everything as saving and invest for further. Now, I'll go for the answer. In this, three formulas you have to apply. Three things. I'll explain you that. First one, you have to find out earning per share and dividend. This is the first one. Earning per share and dividend, you have to find out. Well, how to find out? Total earning divided by number of shares. Total earning is how much? 2 lakh. What are the number of shares? 20,000. What is the earning per share? 10 rupee. Dividend is what? Dividend paid 1 lakh 60 and number of shares 20,000. You have given almost 8 rupees per share. Your earning is 10 rupee and you have given 8 rupees per share as Dividend. Hope you are clear. Your first thing is done. EPS and dividend. What is the first thing? EPS and dividend. Now, what is the next one? Your rate. Rate is what? Your rate, we have to find out total earning divided by total equity. What percentage is your earning? Now, your total earning is 2 lakh, your total equity is 2 lakh, 20 lakh, you got 10% income. What is your income? 10%. Now, it is nothing but whatever earning per share you calculated 10 rupee, we have converted to percentage. Whatever dividend is paid out, we convert into percentage now. Cost of equity, 1 divided by price earning rate, 1 divided by your, what is a Price earning rate 12.5 into 100. Where do you get this 12.5? I'll show you. Your price earning rate is 12.5. Now, 1 divided by 12.5 into 100, you get 0 0.08. If you convert to 100, you will get 8% your cost of equity. There is a second one. We have to find out rate. We have to find out KE. There is a second one. What is the first one? You have to find out EPS and we have to find out dividend. There is a first one. We'll go to third one. What is the third one? Now, your price, it is nothing but dividend plus your rate divided by cost of equity, earning minus dividend. Now, in this what happens? 
your present value so cost of equity divided by cost of equity what is your dividend we calculated it is 8 rupee what is the rate we got it is around 10 percent now so this we have to take it as percentage then e earning minus dividend it will be 10 rupee minus 2 rupee now calculate so 0 0.10 divided by 0 0.08 add 8 rupee then it will be how much can multiply with 10 minus 8 how much you will get you will get almost 10.5 you will get how much you will get 10.5 divide by 0 0.08 if you calculate you will get 131.5 five hope you are clear these are the calculation there are total three calculation here you have to find p hope you are clear yes now so we'll go for the definition or conclusion here in this at present that dividend payout ratio is 80 percent because out of 10 rupee you have given 8 80 percent since it is a growth company having internal rate of return greater than cost if your income is more than your cost that is rate is 10 percent cost of equity is 8 percent now the firm payout ratio is 80 percent is not optimal as per the Walters model what is the Walters model you should not give even one rupee also everything has to be reinvested model the market price of the company's share shall be maximum if it retains 100 percent of the profit and the dividend payout ratio is zero as per this we got answer 80 percent as per Walter, walter's model the dividend payout ratio should be zero we don't have zero we have 80 percent now that's why as per walter's model we are not supposed to give dividend Hope you are clear. Yes. Now, so these are the information we have. I'll go out of the screen so that you can take screenshot. But you have to remember three formulas. One is for your earning per share and dividend. And the second one, cost of equity. And the third one, your present value, all this calculation. Now, so I'll go for this. So your what is the meaning of dividend decision? Your problem number one on Walter's model. Your solution part one. Solution part two. Solution part three. Yes. So this is all about your today's session. Hope you understood. So please work out this and we'll do more problems on Walter's model and Gordon's model you will understand better because similar kind of problems if you get you will understand better please work out at home thank you